Well, thanks for tuning in today as we wrap up this week's ministry moments on this journey from convert to disciple. You know, as I sit here on the beach, I can't help but think about that story as Jesus is walking by the seaside and he sees them fishing. And as they're out there in their boat tending to their nets, he says, hey, follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. Could you imagine that it probably made no sense to those guys as, as they were sitting there? You know, I want you to realize that that's what God's calling you to do is to follow him. And it may not make any sense. You know, follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. Back in that day, you know, we have the Bible, we have it in context, but to them, it was something crazy. Fishers of men, that's what God wants to do. He wants you to follow him. That's what we're supposed to do. As he is our teacher, we're supposed to follow in his footsteps so that we can be like him, imitate him, do the things that he did. Jesus said, as my father sent me, so I send you out into the world. Listen, there's no difference. You're supposed to operate, act like Jesus did. And you might be thinking, well, man, well, that was Jesus and I'm just me. Look, don't think about what you don't have. Don't think about your limitations, your shortcomings, your struggles. Think about who God is inside you, that there is more than enough God inside of you to do all the things that Jesus did. Why? Because the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, he dwells in you also. There's no two Holy Spirits. There wasn't one for Jesus and one for you. He gave Jesus the ability to open the eyes of the blind, to unstop the ears of the deaf, cast out devils, and he'll give you that same ability. You've got to follow him. You can't watch him from a distance. You've got to stay close to him, and he'll make you fishers of men. Listen to that. That is your purpose in life. Jesus said, go into all the world and preach the gospel. Go into all the world. Tell them the good news. Pray for the sick. Open the eyes of the blind. He says, I will be with you always, even into the end of the age. Go and make disciples of all the nations. That's our call, to become a fisher of men, to bring them into the kingdom, and then to disciple them. And so I challenge you, don't sit by, don't let another day go by. Get into the streets. Take the word that God has made available to you. Store it as treasure in your heart and then go out and do something with it. Act on what you read and ask the Holy Spirit to illuminate it for you so that you can go and be that witness that he's called you to be. We can't be content. We've got to be disciples. We've got to become fishers of men. He said, follow me. Listen to that. That's what he's saying to you today. Whoever you are, young, old, rich, poor, black, white, whatever nationality you are, follow me, he says. He takes ordinary people to do extraordinary things. He takes unqualified people and he qualifies them. Look, I'm a high school dropout. I was a drug addict. I was selling drugs. I was messed up in my life, but I had a moment with God that changed me and God has sent me to the nations of the world to preach the good news, to make disciples, to bring people into the kingdom. Look, God's not limited by your past. He's not limited by the money that you have in the bank. He's got a desire and a dream inside you and he wants to use you. So I challenge you today, step out and follow him. Become his disciple.